Whenever I'm pitching a Senko around shallow water cover, what I like to look for is a few different things. Obviously any type of cover, whether it be wood or grass sticking out in the water are gonna be your targets to hit. And also if the sun gets up as well, you wanna key in on, on the shade areas. So whether it be a dock pylon or a lay down coming in the water, my first cast is always gonna to be to the shady side of that piece of cover because a lot of times that's where I get bit. So I'll key in on those areas, but I won't neglect the rest of the cover just because it's not necessarily in the shade. Um, you know, if you have a lay down coming in the water, you'll want to hit both the deep end, the middle part, and the shallow end of it. I'll tend to hit them in that order just for the simple fact I don't want to cast up shallow into the skinniest part of the cover. And if I catch a fish, not only are my chances of landing it going to be more difficult than if I already get bit on the outside of the piece of cover, but if there's any other fish holding around, you'll tend to disrupt maybe fish that are holding on the deeper side of it. So for that reason, I like to hit deeper first and then work my way shallower. Uh, for tackle, if I'm fishing in a heavier cover, I want to use stout tackle. I'll use a, an iRod Air 703 or 704, you know, medium heavy or heavy action rod, and generally 17 or 20 pound Seaguar and Vizex. And um, I like to use a straight shank owner, triple X, four out hook. Uh, for my Senko fishing, I feel like I lose less fish on it than uh, an offset brand or, or, or an e EWG style, personally. And it's exactly what it is. I mean, you know, you're fishing EWG one time, you have two fish jump off, which might be a freak thing. You're like, you know what, I'm going to a straight shank. And it doesn't happen for ever. And you're like, oh, the straight shank is better. And like you said, it's just, you have more confidence in it. And what's good about fishing a Senko around shallow cover is you can, you can definitely hit a lot of areas and hit a lot of different little pieces of cover in a short amount of time. And it doesn't take you long to fish. I mean, this is primarily a drop bait. So right here, we're fishing about two to three foot of water. So you're just gonna pitch it out there, let it sink for a few seconds, let it, let it do its thing. And you're watching your line the whole time because a lot of times you won't feel the bite because there'll be a little bit of slack in your line, but you'll see your line jump or just tick. And a lot of times, you know, that's when you get bit. So it's important to be a line watcher in this situation. And another thing you want to do with your presentation is when you pitch your Senko or cast your Senko in, in and around the cover, you want to make as little splash as possible. You know, it's fairly easy to make a clean presentation because the Senko doesn't weigh a whole lot. So when it hits the water, as long as you feather your spool a little bit, you can make it land without a big splash. Another important thing with the Senko is to make sure after you make your pitch or your cast, you wanna, you wanna pull, pull just a little bit of line off your spool. That way you can ensure that the Senko is falling on a complete slack line so it doesn't affect the action at all.